I am so excited because tomorrow I can wake up super early, start my day with a positive mental attitude and a full state of gratitude. Then how do I start my day? I enjoy opening up my skin, getting the blood pumping, so a hot shower, warming up the body, stimulation, and then finishing it off with an ice cold shower, that cold Colorado water, that mountain water. And that is able to take out all the inflammation and relax the muscles and relax the mind. And it's just a total refreshment when you allow that coolness to take over. And then when you turn that water off and then your body temperature starts to go back to its normal state, you feel a sense of calm, a sense of ease, and a a sense of peacefulness from within. It's a beautiful thing. And that's how I start my day. By the way, I don't go and reach for the towel right away once the water is turned off. I stand there with my eyes closed, visualizing in total focus about the next two to three hours of my day. That right there is a self-meditation. That right there is impressing the subconscious. That right there is a powerful mechanism to activate your higher purpose, especially early in the day, before 5 a.m., preferably before 4 a.m., Then, after you have warmed up your body, it's super early, you have time to focus on your craft, focus on your assignments, focus on your chief aims. Because it's quiet, it's quiet, and it's Peaceful at 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. The most powerful time for manifestation. 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. you will find is such a transformative time period of the day that you will start to actually enjoy waking up early to feel the effects of the ethers that are in the air, that are in the atmosphere, in the cosmos, as you look up at the sky and you can see all the beautiful constellations in our universe, lighting it all up, bringing that darkness into light, the beautiful contrast, hot and cold, light and dark, parallel worlds, congruence, then by using our imagination, we can fully tap into setting up our day for bliss, for integrity, and for concentration and having fun. There's no need to make this all serious and rigorous. This is all about becoming one with yourself, being your best friend, developing new conversations with yourself, starting to use more positive and uplifting vocabulary when you're talking to yourself. And remember this, I have found 
great growth and development by becoming more aware of my unconscious behaviors, like while in the shower, brushing the teeth, or washing the dishes. It's in those little, it's in those moments, those short periods of time of that unconscious behavior that develops in the subconscious. And then we replay that over and over. So, impress the subconscious. And that is why when I finish my shower, I stand there and allow the air to start drying me off. And I close my eyes. And I can repeat positive affirmations. I can say a prayer. I can work on my breath. The key is to not go down the path of guilting yourself and shaming yourself. I have learned that guilting myself and shaming myself does absolutely nothing positive. And it's not improving my situation. It's actually lowering my vibration into fear-based mentality. Rather, impress the subconscious. Imagine that your desire is already fulfilled. Bring back your your visualization skills and your ability to use your imagination. Our brain is so powerful. Our nose is so sensitive. Our ears are so receptive. We have everything that we need. All there is to do is enjoy the process. Have a vision for your future. And in the present moment, feel and imagine and act and behave as if that desire, your desired environment, your desired relationships are already met. Then we become a vibrational match for our true desires. Now, once we begin this journey of impressing the subconscious mind, raising our levels of awareness, and specifically monitoring, evaluating how we talk to ourselves throughout the day, that voice within ourselves Are we amplifying our strengths? Are we focusing on uplifting content? We have the choice to create our reality every single beautiful day that we are alive. And if you opened your eyes as you woke up, you woke up for a reason. It's time to be a service to this world. It's time to uplift your life so that you can live freely, live joyfully, and be a positive force of transformation for humanity for the environment, and for planet Earth. Have an amazing day. Have a wonderful day. Because this is all that it is. So have fun and enjoy. 
much love and many blessings. Much love and many blessings.